Uh, when yo, when Mo three was alive, you guys didn't get along much, right? Or am I wrong about that? Bro, I'm wrong. You guys did get along. We ain't never had no problem. You never had no problem. Mm -mm. Okay, because uh, I okay, I was gonna ask you like Mo three's passing. It feels like nationally, he finally got the love that like he deserved when he was alive but it, it took him dying for people to come to his shit and really like dive into his shit like how big of a loss was mo3 uh to the city of dallas it was a big he made, it was that was a big ass impact for him like uh, on the whole city like and then the shit like the song which shout out to og baba biggins you know that's real that's his song and shit but he's from yeah, dallas as well of yeah. course of course and, nice oh yeah, guy. And, and that's uh that's another nigga that's going crazy. That's He's a super nice guy. Yeah, cool motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. So that motherfucker, that shit, that's that, like that's one up for them boys, bro. Like real talk, but it, it made an impact in the city for sure. Uh, when yo when Mo three was alive. Uh, when yo when Mo three was alive, you guys. Didn't... Okay, y'all. So first off, this is how you lie with a straight face. Okay. Now he wanna say that him and Mo three didn't have no beef. <laughs> <laughs> if they ain't had no beef, then why did, you know, Mo3 come for him then? Huh, y'all? Why did he get hit up, too, on the expressway? Huh, y'all? Ask yourself this question. You know, I'm starting to wonder, you know, I, you know, I already knew that there are out, outsiders that's connecting with this case. And they are, um, you know, looking into some things. There's a lot of people that's working around the commissioner and stuff like that trying to get to the bottom of this case right now because it's a it's a lot of snakes you know that's cops in in dallas um i know that his album sales was horrible okay he ain't making no money off album sales whatsoever everybody's saying that his new album that dropped you know yellow it's garbage. They're saying it's garbage, y'all. Nobody likes it. And everybody that comes in my comment section that talks about, you know, um, Bumpy and Trash, they say that th you never hear anybody bumping their music in Dallas. You never hear it. It's like something that's unheard of, okay? And... It makes you wonder why all of a sudden he didn't pop back out and he's doing interviews. You know, is he doing this because, you know, he just released some music and trying to get it to pump up because it's horrible. Look at his face, y'all. He looks sad. Okay. He looks like things are not going right for him. And this guy asked him a simple question. Were well, y'all having some problems? Everybody know they were, but he want to sit up here and lie and say that they didn't. That's number one. So why did everybody say that Mo3 was the one hit him up on the expressway? Okay. And why did Mo3 have to be on the expressway when he got taken out? Okay. Was it, you know, subliminal? You hit at me out here. We're going to hit at you. We gonna, and we're going to finish the job. You know, these guys right here are hilarious. Okay. And shout out to Negative Ass Sean. Okay. He's the one that, you know, somebody sent me this video. And he is straight line, straight line. And some he said that um, on the caption it says Yellow does his first interview in years on somebody's podcast, and he finally breaks his silence. He breaks his silence, but he's lying. Now, in one interview, somebody is saying, I thought in the other interview, he said he never heard of Mo3. Stop playing, whatchamacallit. <laughs> yeah, one video, he said he never heard of Mo3. Now, he's saying they never had beef. Never, ever had beef. They were always good. Which makes me think these guys are under investigation, y'all. And this is why they popping out now, trying to, you know, um get things to calm down, make the lies go another route. This is what they are trying to do, okay? His own workers came forth in 2020 and said that he told them right, right before Mo3 passing, right before Mo3 was to, get, was to get hit up on the expressway, he told all his workers that he was leaving town and he don't know when he's coming back. Who does that, y'all? Who who does that? 
all right? His boy, his brother's keeper, called him right after Mo3 was taken out and was, you know, giving subliminals but telling on his own self. And he froze on the call. This one right here. He also wants to say, Mo3, you know, um, in this interview, he says that he, you know, was a big impact on Dallas. He really was. And he's going to forever be a big impact on Dallas. You know why? Because everything these guys does from this point on, they're going to be watched. Everybody's going to be watching them. They're going to be waiting for the chance for them to slip up so that they can get got or go to jail for what they did. And all of a sudden now, he wants to come out and talk about Mo3. Think about it, y'all. He just released some new music. He got to do everything he possibly can to get some attention, you know, so that people can, you know, know who he is because he done fell off the map. That's on me. Was that? That's on it. That's all, that was it. And now it's on him to try to recover his career, and it's not going to happen. You will forever have this cloud over your head for being involved in what you all did and who you took away from Dallas. Dallas could have been so much more. Think of where yellow and, um, you know, trash would have been right now. If Mo3 was still here and they could have possibly been doing music together. Think of where their careers might have went. I don't think that, Mo3 probably would have did music with these guys, but if they would have made up and did some music together, it, their careers would be totally on to something else than it is right now. Now it has been a complete halt on their careers. And no matter who and how many people that Trash Boy pay, you know, these radio stations to play his music, it's still trash. You're just messing up your radio station. Because people is turning off because, you know, it's all about the dollars getting paid under the table. And it's not about the talent anymore. People used to turn their radios on in the car and they used to hear the Dusties. They used to hear, you know, some soothing R&B music. They used to hear some old school rap that wasn't attached to hatred and bull crap that this stuff is going on right now. And a lot of people was turning it off. And if you don't have people listening to the radio, then what they're going to tell you in a minute, okay? See, it's a way for them to get rid of trash if they want to. But they like to keep putting it in your face. Okay, y'all? But just pay attention to the lies that's coming out now. He has the nerves to get on here and still try to use Mo3 to get record sales. Because... His album dropped and it, it stay it, it it that's exactly what it did. It dropped right to the bottom, to the flow, and people done been walking on it and, and stepping on it, and ain't nobody listening to that mess he putting out. And they're actually putting money into these projects. And they're horrible. They are horrible. And no matter how much you get on here and pretend like you know you you know, UMO3 was good. Everybody knows y'all weren't. So stop lying for album sales because your album is not going to do any better than it has. It does not matter who y'all cling to and who you hang around. You can hang around Chris Brown. You can hang around whoever you want. Chris Brown cannot perform a miracle and make your music sound like something. He just cannot do it. So stop lying. Stop lying. And you have messed up your whole career right now of a, of a something dumb, off of jealousy, because it wasn't even about what Mo3 did or they did. These guys were jealous. They were jealous. It's just like, um, find some, let me try to think of somebody that can't sing, that think they can sing, but they can't sing. Um, just think about a non-singer in a room with Whitney Houston. And this other person think they can sing, but they can't. And then Whitney Houston comes to open up her mouth. And this person, you know, they don't they don't want to accept the fact that this person has a talent. 
they want to sit back and roll their ass at a like she thinks she all that we're gonna have to get rid of her so we can shine this is the attitude that these guys had and they still have that attitude it does not matter that it was Mo3 or whoever, whoever. They're going to be like that to other people that they're around. They are going to want them out the way so that they can shine. Now, Mo3 is out the way and they still not shining. So what they're going to tell you, what they did to him, they shouldn't have even done. Because it just messed them up worse. Now you have no talent and you are allegedly hitters. And you are jealous hitters at that. You take people out that has more talent than you because, you know, they make you look bad. Okay? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you so much for watching. Peace.